boy. Not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can repair her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. Hey, how's it going, Chromie Crusher? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Okay, well, we're going back to Achilles. Um, yeah. I didn't remember that we would have to uh, practically rebuild the ship. That is quite frankly a mess. Yeah, let's be completely honest about it. I mean, he needs to be honest to himself that he may as well get a new ship. So yeah, we'll just climb up here and get back to Achilles. Good, we can go through the back door. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's if we don't climb the building. Uh, there you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Ah, uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Cool. Stockpile allows you to purchase items from homesteaders and display the items you currently own. Okay, number. So, well, we need three of them, so... May as well get all three. B to leave the stockpile. We've got crafting. And trading as well. Oh, we are doing trading. Land convoy. Okay. Why to send the convoy? Confirm. Okay. Up. Time passed quickly after oh. that. The ship's My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. 
to ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. I wonder if we can actually sail the ship. Or if it is literally just to look at. Oh, it's got a proper harbour. Huh. hard way. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. Superstitious sea captain. She is solid. Aye, weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. Sail, get up the rigging and over fist. Come on, men. Let's get her out where she needs to be. Quite a few ships out there. Come on, lad, no time like the present. Come on, come on, she won't bite. You're connected to an half sail. Killer flies again. Do you feel it, lad? No. Nope. Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Full sail! Bend them all! Full sail! Looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. We're already in half sail. I'm trying my best not to take any damage, but I don't know how. Uh... 
how much these rocks are going to be an issue. Mind those other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. I'm going this way. Stay out of my way. Full sail. Full sail. Go get that wind. Well, we're doing pretty well so far. I do wonder how quickly uh, they would actually be able to change between full sail and uh, half sail. I'm pretty sure it's not this quickly. Cottages, we're close. To half sail. Ease her off, half sail. Oh, oh, where's this ship going? <laughs> no sail! Bring her in, full stop! Drop anchor! We'll go ashore, buy our guns, buy our weapons! Fab! We've done it! Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. Hmm. Nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going... No one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? Oh. I don't much care for you at home, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out. Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Well, guaranteed we'll get into a naval battle now. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Rain her in to half sail. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. 
Bring all her on broadside, in. and when all guns are on target, call fire. All right then. Round shot for a start. Ready up to fire. fire. There she blows. Some old powder in there. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Prepare to fire. Fire. To the floor with it. Never get old. Not bad for a spot, Captain. <laughs> Let's go. You are a fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jet tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my eye for keeping you out so long. I definitely feel like we're going to have a naval, naval battle now. I've not been told how to race. Whoops. Yep, stop taking cover. successful cover. Ah. Wiped them out too early.
I got them. All of them. You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship. Could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him. Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> Not even a goodbye before you left. I'm sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? What are we doing? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Come on, put the hood up. Yeah. That's much better. Look at the eagle on the on the front of the cow there. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van too. There's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar Love a road trip. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? I'm going to parachute in? signal just a heads up there's no elevator access from here on out you'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way climb in yeah I'm not sure if I'd mentioned but I have whoops I have played this one before but uh Obviously, it was uh, quite a while ago, as in, like, when it came out. So I'd forgotten about all these modern parts that 
We're actually not that bad, I don't think. Whoops. I don't know why I want to go up that way. Can we slide under that door? Oh. oh. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Wow. Okay, are we going up high? No, maybe not. Not up this way at least. Ooh, I need to get over there without ooh, without killing myself. Come on, Desmond, keep climbing. that the aim is to get as high as possible so uh, all right uh, I don't like that Wow this is New York this is pretty cool almost there Desmond. once you reach the top of the lit up crane you should be high enough to make the jump should it'll be fine don't worry what well. I love the confidence. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! Mm -hmm. Joke! It's a joke! Or was it? Right, onto that little crane. Okay, I reckon I should just jump straight off. Oh, oh, I don't get to choose. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late and you'll miss the building. Alright, go. Now, open your oh, oh no, oh no. Did I do it? I wish you'd aim for the building. I'm assuming I'm trying to get on the helipad. Sweet. Certainly looks like the power source. One way to do it. That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. Huh? So you got to the cap. Nice.
So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!